Yo, what's up? Where y'all at? <laughs> at WJ, the world's most dangerous boxing platform. Now you see why it's the most dangerous, because I make bold predictions. I said the fifth round. I said Terrence Crawford would win in the fifth. He won in the ninth. I was four rounds off. Fight could have been stopped in the fifth. Remember when the doctor came and looked at Arrow? Forget which round that was, but uh, that was a one-sided fight. I don't even, I think, um, I think actually Crawford was being real humble in his post-fight interview because he made the fight look like it was just easy and he, you know, he didn't want to showboat over Crawford. Crawford, uh, I mean, he didn't want to showboat over Spence, you know, Spence gave it his best, but he was just out, man. You saw the, the difference in skill level. Floyd Mayweather knew what he was talking about when he was talking about the skill level of Crawford and uh, it was just, he wasn't even breathing heavy in the corner. He picked a better rapper to come in the ring to. How's uh, Errol Smith going to come into the ring with a 500-pound dude with his shirt open to some song that ain't got no, like, no hype to it? I mean, you could hear Crawford. You could see the crowd was getting into it when they heard Lose Yourself from Eminem. So he picked a better rapper, run, won the ring walk. <laughs> I think Spence probably won the first round because, you know, not many not many punches were landed, but I think he kind of outlanded Crawford. After that, it was just it was just a clinic. It was a clinic. Now, where all y'all that was talking all that mess, you didn't I didn't know what I was talking about, this and that. I used to box. I know what I'm talking about. And um, you know, he still give credit to Errol Spence cuz he took those punches like a G. So, you know, you got to give credit to Errol Spence, he was just outlanded and outmanned, and that jab of of uh, Crawford was something else because he's naturally conventional. He's naturally a conventional fighter, so when he throws a jab with his right, that's like a straight, that's like an overhand right, and it was knocking Errol Spence all off balance. That was a clinic. There doesn't even need to be a rematch. Why have a rematch? For what? What do we need a rematch for? That was a beating. It was almost getting scary. That fight could have been stopped way before it was stopped, but uh, Errol Spence, he just wasn't ready, and there's no need for a rematch. Ain't nobody beating Terrence Crawford. The dude lives a disciplined life outside of the ring, and that equates to what he does in the ring. You can't party, you can't drink, and think you're going to beat a world-class fighter? What happens when the pressure's on and you have to keep fighting and grind it out? You're going to cave in like you did outside of the ring. you got to live a disciplined life. And Terrence Crawford thanked the most high. First thing when he got out the ring, got to respect that. I was praying for him too. Thank the most high, yeah. And uh, yeah, yeah. Never doubt Terrence Crawford and never doubt my picks. <laughs> Don't hide y'all. Don't hide y'all. Come back in and take your beating like a man. All y'all that was talking about, Errol Spence was going to do this. He's the bigger man. Terrence Crawford looked like the bigger man in the ring and the stronger man. Dude was in the corner with his mouth closed most of the fight. He wasn't even breathing heavy. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. In WJ, the world's most dangerous boxing platform, LSR forever. Make sure to comment, share, subscribe, and let's make sure this page takes off like a car with the brakes off. And go watch my Jay Roos theory uh, breakdown of the fight too. Wow, did we get our money's worth? That was worth every bit of that 84 or 85. I was, I, I, for some reason, I couldn't get it on my TV, so I was watching it on my laptop, and man, it paused the whole fight. And that Cruz fight was weak, man. I thought the tall guy won, but I could see from the first to second round that that was going the distance. That was a terrible uh, main, uh, co-main event. But anyway, man, Terrence Crawford, the new face of boxing replacing who I said Tank Davis because, you know, Ryan Garcia ain't on the level of uh, <laughs> Errol Spence. Errol Spence is still a great fighter. He was just, you know, outmatched by the stronger, more disciplined, more skillful fighter. That's I boxed the mostly lefties, and t let me tell you, it's difficult. You know, even fighting a middleweight left lefty is difficult, and I'm a heavyweight. So... Anyway, let me know what you guys think. LSR forever. Thanks for watching.